Welcome back, and this is a lecture 9. And this lecture 9 has 3 videos, and the topic is of belt drive. Let me just start with a, a big pulley. That is the diameter of a huge pulley. And next to it, we have a small pulley. I'm going to put it over here. Now, you know, pulleys are round and has been round, they will be a center point. Let me locate the center point of this pulley. Uh, let me estimate it somewhere over here and somewhere over here. And allow me to join the center distance of these two pulleys here. Now you realize that uh, these are the parameters that is easily available. Let me put this one first. The easily available because during the design phase we have the center distance of the pulley. Then uh, allow me to also put in the diameter of the small pulley. I'm calling it diameter small letter D for small pulley. And this diameter, obviously I would like to call it diameter D. A uppercase D for a large pulley. Now uh, we are very interested to find the belt length. That means the belt that goes along the whole both pulley and uh, allow me to draw a line tangent to both circle. And the beauty of the tangent you will notice later that uh, it has some mathematical uh, condition. Eh? Now with this tangent done, now let's try to understand this tangent. Uh, I'm going to put a 90 degrees over here and link it back to the center. And this is 90 degrees uh, because you see I'm using a set square and that's 90 degrees. Similarly for this side, I'm going to do the same thing and lead me back to the center. Uh. Again 90 degrees. Now, if I were to draw a rectangle from here, this and this is a rectangle. Uh, these two lines are parallel. Now, obviously, this is going to be 90 degrees. Huh? And you realize that right in the middle, I have a very interesting rectangle, a triangle. And let me name the triangle in its correct index uh. so let me name the triangle as this point is point e f and g so let me put the note here uh triangle e f g actually it's a right angle triangle now uh let's put in some values that we know of you see the length of this this dimension uh, is the rectangle so it's the same as the radius over here so I will call this D over 2 similarly uh, similarly on the big bigger part here this distance uh, allow me to just put it to the center uh, you will realize that this will be the big letter D over 2 so I'm interested in the in the uh, the side that belongs to the belongs to the triangle so this distance this distance will be D over 2 subtract small letter D over 2 I can write it as a D over 2 divided by 2. So basically that is the distance over there. And if I were to name the angle here, this angle, I call this angle beta. 
So you realize that we have a right angle triangle that's the beta there and uh, allow us to put in the condition. So I will say this way. Mm. Let me put it this way. Huh? This right angle triangle, I will say sine beta. Sine is actually opposite over hypothesis. The opposite will be d to divided by the hypothesis will be c. In short, we have d minus d over 2c. And that will allow us to find the angle beta. Uh -huh. Another thing we need to take note is that on that right angle triangle, if I say the belt length, that is the tangent length is x. So this will also be x. So how is x, c and the distance related? I mean the triangle is related. We can use the Pythagoras theorem. And that allows us to say that x squared, x squared plus d minus d over 2 squared equal to c squared and that allows us to say that x actually is a square root of c squared subtract oh that's beautiful now we are able to find the find the uh the length i mean the x uh, the the straight line x and also we know how to find the angle of the triangle inside the pulley now uh coming to a bit more complicated let's understand what happened if i were to extend this line let me use a if i extend this line up mm, i better use a truck i stand this line up you see yeah, when i stand it up i stand it 90 degrees huh? 90 degrees up and let me draw a little bit here and i'm going to show you that this angle is also beta and how do we know this angle is beta? Uh, we realize that that's a right angle triangle. So let me put this. That's a rectangle. Uh. So you see, let me put this little set square to cover the 90 degrees there. And imagine that this is the pivotal point. Uh, and if this guy is to swing down, swing by the angle beta, you realize that the top also swing by the beta. Let me repeat this again. Uh. Uh, you see, this is the line here. If I swing this down, you realize that the angle is beta and that's very good uh, since that angle is beta let me just join this end here let me join this angle here and I like to know what is this angle now reason why we need to know the angle is this I know the belt length over here but I need to know the belt length to cover the pulley so let's define this angle as theta s. Similarly on this side, uh, if this is theta s, then I will also like to draw this one. And call this angle, if that is s, uh, then this will be theta l. L stands for large pulley and s stands for the small pulley. Uh. And now I can safely say that theta s is equal to pi minus 2 beta. Like just how you see, minus 2 beta. And theta l will be pi plus 2 beta. Uh, just in case you know why, you wonder why I write pi, pi actually represents. 180 degrees. Huh? So basically, I'm saying 180 degrees minus 2 beta, and it has to be in radian. Uh, so I better put a note here. So the angle has to be in radian. Huh? Uh, this is also in radian. Now, if you go back to your school days, I realized the up length, up length of a circum, I mean, of a, of a small arc, uh, up length is. Uh, The equation of arc length is equal to r theta. So that is very neat. Now I can say the whole belt length, L is the belt length, will be 2x plus half d 
D theta S plus half capital letter D theta L. So that brings us to the main equation of a belt length. That means the belt length of a pulley driver will be two times the x here and here. And this is R theta, which is over here. And that is over here. Let me just put it in color. Now the two x actually is this line. Here and here. Then the two theta x, small one, huh? small, uh, small d, is actually this is the. And finally, the two theta l, I'm going to use green color, will be this distance. And that in total will bring us to how to apply this formula in the next in the next uh, video.